inaitwa Asunta Wagoi wa Moirori. The Azimio Chairperson Nakuru County. Following the occurrences of the past few weeks during our countrywide peaceful demonstrations, we witnessed police brutality of the highest order where our armless followers were shot at we are shot at with live bullets. Disproportional use of tear gas, illegal abduction of our leaders, destruction of property of unknown value by hired goons, unconditional jailing and blackmail to our members. This is not what our forefathers shed blood for, and we condemn these heinous acts with the strongest terms possible. We gather here today to stand in solidarity with the families of those who lost their lives by being shot by the police. Those nursing gunshot wounds in various facilities, political prisoners, and those who lost their businesses and property during demonstrations. As a coalition, we are committed to the rule of law and call on investigation agencies to fast track the process and bring the perpetrators to book. To book. Further, we are instant that the right to peaceably demonstrate and picket is a basic right that must not be denied, delayed, or prejudiced by anybody. We are thankful to all Kenyans who had to our call and deciding hatutasimama maovu yakitawala. That is the true Kenyan spirit. We thank the religious leaders who have been the voice of the reason throughout the process. The human rights organizations and the international community for warning against the injustice that were visited upon unarmed demonstrators by the state agents. Today, we demand that all our political prisoners to be unconditionally released and all the gunshot patients being held at Nakuru Teaching and Referral Hospital be allowed to go home without charges with immediate effect. Those who lost their loved ones must find justice, and we will exploit all available avenues, including ICC, to ensure that justice is served. As our party leader, Right Honorable Raila Amolo Odinga said, the Azimil Coalition will, will roll out a reach out mission to all the victims and accord them the necessary support. We will communicate the next course of action as of when it is available. God bless you for coming. God bless you for standing with Kenya. Na pia wale wale kufa hapa na kwetu na kuru. Hapa tuliwapoteza vijana wawili. Na tukawa na watu wengi ambao walijeruhiwa na marisasi. Na hiyo ndiyo siku tuliambiwa na viongozi wetu. Tukiongozo na molo Raira Odinga. Leo kusue na maandamano. Tuwe na siku ya kulia na kuwakumbuka watu wetu ambao walijeruhiwa na wale walikufa. Tunataka kurudisha asanti kwa kanisa la katoliki. Kuanzia mabishop wote, house of bishops. Kwa yale maneno walitoa, musimamo wa kanisa. Wakasema ya kwamba, tabu ya wa Kenya itatuliwe. Haita tatuliwa na kupiga watu risasi. Itatuliwa tu kilio cha wa Kenya kikisikizwa. Maneno ya Maisha kwenda juu, maneno ya electro justice, na maneno ya demokrasia yetu kuchungwa. 
na hiyo ndiyo condition ambazo azimio imepea serikali bado tunaona serikali ikijipiga kifu, kifua na kuonyesha kwamba hawataki maonge, maongeo haiwezekani kuwa makanisa wananchi sivyo society wote ambao wanasema maongeo isiyo ni ya wanasiasa peke yao ma, maongeo ihusishwe watu wa Kenya kwa sababu yale ambao tunauliza inatuhusu sisi yote kwa hivi leo sio maneno mengi ni kuhuzunika kwa vile hii serikali inatumia vio ambavyo wako nazo kuua kuangamiza na ku, na kumeim wananchi ambao waliwachagua kama walichaguliwa tungetaka wasikie huruma wasiturudishe nyuma miaka ya kiimla miaka ya kiimla tulikuwa nayo first government second government lakini kutoka wakati 2010 wananchi wa Kenya wakasema no more kwa hivi hata sasa tunasema tafadhali serikali reason with us reason with the Kenyans msiturudisha nyuma siku ya leo ni siku ya huzuniko kubwa sana kwa sisi wa Kenya wote kwa sababu ya yale ambayo yametupata wakati tumekuwa tukifanya maandamano maandamano ambayo sikuvunja sheria maandamano ambayo imeruhusiwa na katiba na si maandamano ya madharau ni madhara ni maandamano tukujaribu kuitana tusikizwe kwa sababu ya yale yote yanatuangamiza na yanatuthurumu ya wakati huu ndugu zetu tumefanya maandamano nayo na serikali ikaonyesha ina nguvu kuliko waandamanaji baada ya kuuliza waandamanaji wanaandamana kwa nini ndio waambiwa kilio chetu ni hiki waliona njia nzuri ni kukutana na waandamanaji kwa njia ya kifua kwa njia ya kuua kwa njia ya kupiga kwa njia ya kuharibu mali ya watu wakatuonyesha kama hatuna serikali ambao inawafikiria wananchi na swali langu kwanza mimi na minajua ni swali ambalo liko katika fikira wa Kenya wengi kweli serikali ya Kenya kwanza ilichaguliwa na wananchi na kama ilichaguliwa na wananchi kwa hakika ni serikali gani ambayo inaundwa na wananchi inachaguliwa na wananchi na haina huruma na wananchi ni serikali gani hiyo hii inaonyesha waziwazi wazi ya kwamba serikali ya Kenya kwanza hamkuchaguliwa na wananchi wa Kenya kama hamuna huruma na hawa mnasikia kilio chao kila pahali mambo ya maisha yamepanda chakula kinakosa unga ambao unajua ndio chakula chetu wa Kenya mnapandisha bei na zaidi ya hayo mnatengeza sheria ya kodi kututoza kodi zaidi baadaye amue na huruma ya kwamba watu wanalia kwa sababu ya gharama ya maisha mnaongezea gharama katika maisha yao ndugu zetu tunawachukua kama yule mfalme kijana wa Solomon na mimi nataka hii jambo lifikie viongozi wa Kenya kwanza mmechukua kama sisi kama wale vijana kijana wa Solomon aliyeulizwa na wazee asikie wazee akakataa akawajibu nitawaongoza na kifua na nguvu yangu nitawachapa na kiboko kiricho the scorpion whip i don't know what you call it in swahili hayo mambo ndio tunaonyeshwa sasa na Kenya kwanza nataka kusema ya kwamba tuna maswali mengi watu wamepigwa risasi hao watu wamekufa ni risasi Kenya kwanza kama ninyi ndio serikali ya wa Kenya 
kuwalinda wa Kenya mumechika mtu hata mmoja aliyemua mtu aidha akampiga risasi au vile alivyokufa hatujasikia mtu hata mmoja ambaye ameshikwa kwa sababu ya watu kufa kile tunachoona ni vijana hawa wadogo kwa sababu ya wana kilio kikubwa wamesoma hawana kazi wamesoma wazazi wao wanaangamizwa na kodi wamesoma hawana matumaini hawa vijana mkiwapata badala ya kuwasaidia ni kuwapiga risasi mimi ni mzazi na mimi ni mzee na mimi nashindwa na ninaona wazazi ambao wamepoteza watoto wao wale ambao wamepoteza bwana zao wale wote haya mambo wameyapata bila mtu kujali nataka kusema hivi kwa Kenya kwanza tuna maswali mengi Tuambia mnatafuta mabuduki, mnatafuta nini? Tunajua vile mkitaka kujua ni nani alipiga, ni risasi gani ilipiga, mna uwezo wa kujua ni buduki gani ilipiga. Muziana mungu atutafutia mbuduki, muje muzipande, museme ni hizi mkiwapotosha wa Kenya. Wa Kenya wamesoma siku hizi, wa Kenya wameendelea sana na hakuna njia yoyote mtawapotosha. Mimi nataka kumaliza nikisema ya kwamba sisi wa Kenya tuko tayari kuwa na amani na taifa letu tuko tayari kuwa na amani na serikali tuko tayari kuwa wanachama wetu na tuko tayari kuona ya kwamba vyama vyetu vya upizani vyama vyetu vya kisiasa tunaviweka kwa uzito na kuziunga mkono kwa sababu tunajua gao yetu ni vyama vyetu vya upizani na ya mwisho ni sema kwamba Raila sio mwenye hii maandamano. Serikali mnapigana na kusema Raila 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 mpaka lini Raila? Hii vita si ya Raila na Ruto. Hii vita si ya uhuru anaongeza chumvi, anaongeza moto. Hapana. Hii vita ni ya wananchi na serikali ya Kenya kwanza. Hii vita ni ya Ruto mwenyewe na nimwambia mimi kama mzee Tumekaa na yeye miaka mingi ninamjua sana afahamu na anze kufahamu vita si ya wale ambao anasema Ruto ajue ya kwamba vita ni yeye na wakenya ndio wanamuuliza maswali ya shida zao Mungu awabariki sana ndugu zetu na tunasema tukiondoka hapa tuondoe kwa amani kwa sababu wajinga dunia hii ni wengi wale wanaotumiwa kama wajinga ni wengi lakini wajue wana siku yao pia. Sisi wote na ume, ume, wale wa mama wanaangalia ma television na nini, umeona ya kwamba hatutawaachilia wale ambao wamepoteza maisha yao, haki zao, tutafuatilia skotini hata kama ni ICC, tutafuatilia hata kama ni sheria wapi duniani hii, tutafuatilia kwa sababu wale watu wamethurumiwa. Na wamethurumiwa bila haki na kuna katiba ambayo imesema walindwe hiyo katiba iko wapi tunapoongea siku ya leo e, kuna wawili ambayo maisha yao yamekatizwa two lives have been sniffed out of this planet never to be found again wengine wamelazwa ma hospitali hawana e, familia zao zinaumia hii serikali iliahidi ya kwamba haitatumia polisi na italinda maisha miezi kumi iliyopita swali ambalo tunauliza ni je kwa huo muda mfupi hivi nini imetokea ya kwamba mumegeuka mpaka hata wakenya wakiwaangalia kwa uso wanashindwa kama ni nyinyi jambo la pili hii ni targeted killing tumekuwa medical sisi hata jana tulikuwa kule na wale ambao ni waadhiriwa wenye wamelazwa saa hii kule ni 7 eh, eh, six out of seven, one community six out of seven. tunauliza hii ni risasi gani ambayo inatembea eh ina, inapagua ya kwamba this is people demonstrating lakini inatembea inaenda inaangalia na inakonga fulani how is it so we are telling this government we are very concerned na tunaelewa ya kwamba you should stop mass i mean targeted killing na inaonekana ya kwamba ni community fulani ambao ndio wengi sana. Sasa jambo lingine tunasema ni kwamba wale ambao wamelala hospitali tumekuwa kule jana. Na tukitoka hapa tunaelekea kule. 
We are calling for a waiver. Wengine wameachiliwa, wameruhusiwa kwa na nyumbani tena tulikuwa kule wameruhusiwa, lakini bado kwa vitanda kwa sababu hawana pesa. They need an average of 25,000 each as per yesterday. 25,000. Sasa tunaomba sio kuomba tunasema waachiliwe tafadhali waende nyumbani manake jamii na familia zao kwa sasa zinateseka. Haya, mm. kuna biashara ambazo haziendelei. Ukiangalia kule eh Saidi anakuru West, biashara haziendelei. Kwa sababu kule askari wamemwagwa, kuna intel, kuna wengine ambao ni maplain cloth, mtu akijaribu kutokea anakamatwa, wengine wanapotea. Tunaomba tunawaambia askari Naambia hii serikali ya kwamba tafadhali wacha wananchi wafanye kazi ile kidogo ile uhai kidogo nyenye mwabakishia tafadhali wapeni nafasi mm. maana kuna wengine ambao wako nyuma wacha niwapishe na Mungu awabariki kwa hivyo tukitoka hapa tunaenda medical kuangalia wale ambao wamelazwa so my name is John Kamau and I speak for the youth in the Azimio coalition we are the victims in whatever has been happening and we want to say that we are unhappy with whatever happened and we condemn everything that has been mentioned with the strongest term possible. The other thing is to just remind all of us why we were demonstrating. We went to demonstrate not so that leaders may have positions. We went to demonstrate not so that a few of us who are in a privileged position to able to you know, strike deals with the government. We went there so that those that are left behind may lead a better life. And we want to say this, that those who are, that were shot directly in their stomachs, they were shot in their stomachs so that those that have remained with their stomachs may have something to put in their stomachs. And therefore, anyone that will use this to gain for themselves, then they'll be as guilty as the perpetrators because that is truly misusing the youth of this nation. And we want to ask and to say that yesterday, President Ruto said that he wants to reach out to Raila Amolo Odinga. It is commendable. But it is so shameful that that is what it takes for elected leaders in this country to listen to what common monainchis are saying. We are saying that when you go there, our leaders, Raila Amolo Odinga and the team, and my party leader, Mother Karua, kindly strike a deal that is favorable to these people. Strike a deal that will ensure that those that have died, their children will never die again fighting for the same things. Strike a deal that will ensure that those that lost their brothers and sisters and parents, they'll never go again in the streets for the same reasons. Strike a deal that will bring them a favorable economy. Bring, uh, strike a deal that will, will bring them, you know, working institutions like our parliament so that we'll never have to go back to the streets again for things that our parliament can talk in the parliament. I want to end there and say, that our leaders from the Azimio, let's keep our eyes on the ball. And our ball is one and one only. The Wanainchi wa Kenya. Yes. You know the people of the Democratic Republic of Kenya. Yes. That is our target. Anything apart from that, it is ill meant.